What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. Yes, the sun is in my eyes, but I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Today we are back to the Premier League goal recreation series and this time we are looking at the best goals from the month of November. If you think you're gonna enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section down below which of these three goals I'm gonna recreate was your favorite in real life and also that I'm gonna actually recreate. Also subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos. The sun is getting brighter. I can't believe I've actually found a sunny day to film. This is absolutely mental. Uh, before we get into the video, I just wanted to say two quick things. Firstly, my broadcast merch is currently on sale. So click the link in the description if you want to get your hands on some of this fresh broadcast merch. I'm doing a massive Christmas sale, okay? Oh no, I've got the mic thing there, haven't I blocking me? Oh, this is a disaster. I'm just gonna have to carry on. You can get it right now on eBay with a massive discount. I'm thinking, what, 50%? Maybe even 60% to see how generous I'm feeling. But this is the flash sale and it's not gonna last forever. So make sure you head over there. Links are in the description and check it out. <laughs> it's one of those days. I haven't been well either, guys. I've got a bit of a cold, you can probably tell. I've got the man flu, but I'm persevering. I haven't sold to my wife. Yes, I have, quite a bit. The second thing I quickly wanted to tell you about uh, is a quick baby update. As some of you might know, if you saw a recent video, uh, my wife and I are expecting our first baby, which is due in May next year. If you haven't seen my announcement video, make sure you go and check that one out. I'm gonna leave the links to that in the first line of the description, okay? We had the heartbeat for the first time the other day, which was absolutely mental. Um, so it's all becoming very, very real. Um, she's not really showing too much at the minute. Um, she's starting to get a little bit, a little bit, bigger but you can't really tell um, but she's doing really well so I just wanted to update you because a few of you are asking me um, how I was getting on. Just very quickly here is an image of our 10 week scan just so you can have a look and as you can see it's almost like the baby has started freestyling already. It's unbelievable. I put a little post on Instagram um, showing me doing basically the same trick as my baby's already copying. So that is pretty good. It shows they're going to be a true baller. Right without further ado let's get into the video. Okay, so first up, I'm going to try and recreate Aguero's goal. Full Man City versus Man U in that 3-1 win. Obviously, a big derby game. Man City are absolutely smashing it at the minute, aren't they? They look unstoppable. And even though it's the start of December, they're already looking good for the Premier League title. So I brought in the rebounder. And that's going to create the little 1-2 that Aguero does with Riyad Mahrez right on the edge of the box. The pass from Mahrez goes a little bit wide and Aguero hits it first time, beating De Gea. De Gea's probably watching it back thinking how on earth did he score that, but it was a great strike, not into the top corner, but kind of into the roof of the net towards that left-hand side. As always, I'm gonna have five attempts to recreate it. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, I'd much rather be passing to a person to get the one-two, but as we know, I haven't got any friends. I'll say it in every video. Yeah, so that's the kind of thing we're after, guys. But obviously, just put it in the goal next time. I'm going to make a point that this is actually more difficult using a rebounder than an actual human being. It seems like that's quite easy to save from that angle. De Gea, what have you done? Finish that, but totally the wrong place. Right, fourth attempt then. Come on, here we go. It's the cold and flu. It's really affecting my game today. Yeah, excuses, isn't it? Last attempt then, guys. I mean, it was a bit of a bobble, wasn't it, from the from the rebounder, but I've taken it more of a half volley. So difficult to get it to come back on the floor. That was my fifth attempt, but I'm just gonna have one more because I want it to be just smoothly on the floor. Yes, the angle is difficult, but the main problem was the rebounder. Um, it did not serve me well on this occasion, but I made the best of it. I still got a really nice finish. In terms of the exact movement, it was good. Obviously, the only difference is the ball from Mares was on the floor, and the rebounder gave me a little bubble, which I finished pretty much in the same spot that Aguero did. So I'm gonna take it, let's move on, and go to the second goal recreation. Come on. Got the Liverpool shirt on. Well, it's red. 
So next up we've got Trent Alexander-Arnold. That's a tongue twister of a name, isn't it? This was a fantastic free kick in their win against Watford. For me, this is the best goal of November. There was quite a few good solo individual goals, but they're not easy to recreate just because they don't particularly look good on camera. And when you haven't got the defenders to beat, it doesn't look good. So I'm thinking Son for Tottenham. That was an amazing little run where he scored. Uh, and there was quite a few like that. But this is the goal of November for me. It's a free kick from probably 25 yards. I'm doing it pretty much exactly where he took it from. Just to touch on this before we start, his run up was quite unique because normally if you're gonna take a free kick, you kind of come at a 45 degree angle, like here, but he was almost near a 90, so he started around here, and that's how he really whipped it over the wall in the top corner. The goalkeeper doesn't even move. He takes a little step, and he's completely left planted. So Joe's gonna have a go at trying to save it, even though he knows where I'm going. Five attempts, let's go. Oh. <laughs> I've got around the wall. Too slow, Joe. Oh, that is a god! Oh, oh, oh. even speak. Oh. That's unbelievable. Wow, let's get a slow mo of that, please. It's gonna take more. It's gonna take more. Oh, you joker, Joe! Oh, he's too good. He is too good. Just a reminder as well that you can get your broadcast t-shirts right now in the Christmas sale. <laughs> oh man, that's three in a row. That is three unbelievable saves. I mean, he obviously knows where it's going to go, but he's still starting from the same position that a goalkeeper would start. Like, he's not moving it any closer or any further out. He's just a treat of a goalie. I've got to hit it with more venom. That's the only way to beat him. Oh, yes! Yes, yes! Yes! Trent Alexander Arnold. Pressure was on. Stepped up. Fifth attempt. I've done it. He's made three outrageous saves there, to be honest. They all should have gone in. Any other keeper, they may well have done, especially if he was standing still like the Watford keeper was. But it's all good. We did it. Let's move on to the third goal. So last but by no means least, we have Lacazette's finish for Arsenal against Liverpool. And this was a vital, vital goal because we just got one nil down. I was sobbing. I was not in a good place. But Lacazette steps up and he pulls off this unbelievable goal. The ball gets sent through. He runs onto it. The keeper comes out. He takes a touch before the keeper, takes it on his right foot, and then he curls it into the right-hand side, about halfway up the goal, into the corner. I know you guys are going to think I'm probably only using it because I'm an Arsenal fan, and that is partly probably true, uh, but it was either between this one or David Silva's, and to be honest, this was the better goal, so I'm using it. Five attempts, let's go. <laughs> Everything was right. I've hit it off the bar. The most difficult thing here is not going to be the finish, it's actually going to be the timing of getting Joe to come out to get that touch to then pull it round him. So that, I scored that, but I put it the wrong side, didn't I? I've got to go around the outside of you. Good start though. It's a very different goal, this, from anything I've ever recreated in this series. Um, normally, they're kind of strikes from outside the box, so quite nice to do something like this. <laughs> Just saw him stumbling like that. There we go then guys, that brings us to the end of another Premier League goal recreation episode and I think it was a success. If you think it was and you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, that would be awesome and let me know in the comment section as we said which was your favourite of those three goals 
that I recreated. Don't forget to subscribe, because if you don't subscribe, you're not going to be the first to see new videos. And also, go and check out Joe on social media, give him a follow, and if you do, you're going to see some unbelievable saves like this. Oh, he has saved it! He's good, go and check him out.